Hey guys, so a few weeks ago, Easel added this ability for pockets to be carved with better tool pathing so it doesn't lift up every single time it carves a layer. And then last week, they added the uh, new machine profiles, and there are some caveats to setting those up as well that I cover in a different video right here. And this week, they added, in a kind of a background way, you've got to uh, opt in to this feature, but they added additional depths so you can cut through your material slightly and into your wasteboard to ensure that you are cutting parts all the way through. Uh, you can go to the link that's gonna be in this video's description if you wanna sign up for it. It's this page right here. So in order to enable it, you'll click this checkbox right here, which says that you'll provide feedback to them in a short survey, phone call, or other means if you do sign up for it. Now, if you're worried about scarring your waste board up, this might not be for you, and or you might wanna try a really thin additional depth if you are worried about cutting into your waste board at all. Honestly, the wasteboard is designed to do just that, take scarring and be resurfaced. If you're not using a surface wasteboard, you really should start there and develop a wasteboard that you can surface and resurface once it becomes damaged and scarred. That way you have a nice parallel work surface to begin with. Now, moving on to this actual feature, the additional depths. Now, I've used a different uh, trick to cut through my material in the past, and that's simply coming up here and changing the material thickness. I'm sure many of you have done that before as well. So if this board is truly 0.5, I might put in 0.55 and then cut that extra 0.05 through into the wasteboard and leave little scar marks in the wasteboard. But like I mentioned, that's fine. I'll resurface it when it gets too much damage to really work on top of. This new feature allows you to no longer do that. You can keep the true thickness and you can set individual elements as additional depth as you deem necessary. Um, you notice here that these eyes are not additional depth, but only the mouth is. So that's just kind of to show you in this video how those toolpaths are different. And over here on the right side, I've gone ahead and simulated this toolpath the way it is with some tabs in there as well to kind of show you what happens. So if we hide material, you'll notice, like I said, only the mouth is set to additional depth, but you don't really notice that at first. If I do move it down here, you can see that the eye doesn't have additional depth, but the mouth does. And that kind of is hidden by the wasteboard. You can keep, kind of see right there how that plane of the wasteboard hides it. So if I also uncheck wasteboard over here, I can now see, oh yeah, it's got additional depth and now the tabs are deeper. So with using this new function, the tab thickness is calculated based off of the wasteboard, not off of the bottom of the toolpath. So that's something that you may want to keep in mind. Uh, in the past, when I would trick it using the thickness up here, I would also increase the height of my tabs. So now using this feature, I no longer have to change the tabs. So that's why I might actually end up using this feature. Although, like I mentioned before, 0.55 is about what I would change it to. So I would use this selection, which only increases it a small amount. So that, in a nutshell, is how you can use additional depth to cut through your material without having to trick easel by using a false material thickness. Till next time, have a great day.